have a really exciting project today and we are gonna show you how to install wallpaper. And we're doing this in a very interesting place in our house. It's this dark area that's right at the back of our stairs. We call it the hallway to nowhere, even though it does <laughs> actually go around to, to go downstairs to the basement. We love it because it's where we keep all of our coats, but it definitely needs something. So we're gonna really give life to this coat nook and all by using wallpaper. So our go-to company for wallpaper is Spoonflower. We love them so much. They work with artists from all over the world. And no matter what colors or what style you like, they definitely have a paper. And we are super excited because they just launched a grass cloth wallpaper collection. Any of their papers now come in grass cloth. And you might be wondering, what is grass cloth? Well, it is this beautiful texture that you can see here on our wallpaper that we're about to install. The reason why we really love it is it just adds so much texture to any space you're working with. So we've used Spoonflower wallpaper in a bunch of our projects. You might recognize it from that bathroom at Hibiscus Brew, or even the wallpaper inside the bathroom at Green Avenue Glow Up. It's just really one of our favorite companies to shop from. You're supporting local artists, which is always great. And the women that run the company are just incredible, awesome to work with. You should always make sure you have a clean blank surface. So I'm just taking this empty brush and I'm gonna wipe all of the dust off the top of our paneling and I'm also gonna wipe down the walls so we have that clean surface. So Jordan is measuring the width of the wall and what we are gonna do is pick the center point and we're gonna have our pattern start from the center and then go out. So we marked off the where our the seams will be for all our wallpaper and we're using a level to get a nice straight line. So when we put the wallpaper up, we can align it and make sure it's nice and straight. So this is a tool that you'll definitely need to hang any wallpaper. It's called SureGrip. And the thing we love about this product is it paints on pink, but when it dries, it's all clear. So you know exactly when your paper has set and it's dry. I'm just gonna go ahead and empty it into the pan and then we're gonna roll it onto the wall that was just clean and dusted. We measured the height of the wall that we're, we're putting the wallpaper, and we're gonna cut it down to size about four or five inches bigger than the height so that we can fit it into place. So we just put our wallpaper up on the wall. The first panel is in, and we have are smoother here and we're going to just work out the air bubbles. Little air bubbles get behind it. You definitely wanna make sure you get all of those out because if you don't, it can make the wallpaper come off or could actually tear or, or break in the yeah. future. So you can see that there's a little bit of excess. So we, we overlapped it a little bit, but now we're gonna go back and trim uh, the excess off so that it's nice and even. Back to the glue, we're gonna just make sure that it is in all of the corners as well. So I'm actually gonna use a sponge brush after I brush this on just to make sure that I have all of the corners on this. Okay, so we are putting in the last panel and the important part, and also probably the most difficult part, is definitely matching your patterns. Obviously, as you can see, this is a swan, so we are just having to double, it's me, Greg Barry is just correcting me. You're just double, triple checking that all of your patterns line up. We're actually really pleased with this seam right over here, so we're hoping that this last panel will be easy to install. Thank you. 
So now one of the darkest corners in our home has become the brightest and most colorful thanks in large part to this beautiful grass cloth wallpaper from Spoonflower. We really love Spoonflower. They have so many different prints, so many different colors, and the whole shopping experience was so much fun. Yeah, and this wallpaper adds a gorgeous pop of color in what was a dark part of our house. It also has this really great texture because it's, it's printed on the grass cloth paper. So it's really, really cool. And then we also put a few coats of paint on the wainscoting, which is this beautiful green color that goes very well with the wallpaper as well. So now this is such an interesting place yeah. and hopefully something we're gonna use a lot more than we were before. And it's amazing how quickly this space transformed. I mean, we did this project in literally a couple hours so no matter what level of DIY you feel comfortable tackling you can definitely install this wallpaper it's fun it transforms any space and the end result is just so beautiful and I'm super excited to walk into this every single day so thanks for watching hope you got a little bit of inspiration from our mudroom makeover and we look forward to seeing you next time bye everyone